Carl Spanberg, I'm a, formerly a retired soldier veteran from 101st Airborne Division, stationed at Fort Campbell, and I went up through uh, <coughs> Iraq with the 217th Cav. I was in that 2003, and that was uh, when I suffered a lung injury with a sulfur fire. We were stationed at a, it was called Kehara West. It was an airfield. It was pretty much south, about 25 kilometers. Uh, from where the actual minefield was at, it was the Asmishirek, I believe is how you pronounce it, minefield. And it, it uh, supposedly got attacked by uh, RPG and, and or accidentally set on fire. I heard either, I uh, wasn't too sure which one it was, but there was information about that that we heard over the net. And uh, basically that's what had, t had taken place. It had burned for at least uh, a month, three weeks of intense smoke. It came down to our position. We had trees that were green uh, vegetation and within the next day it, it was totally brown. Uh, some of us had uh, burns on our skins that was uh, reddish in color. Uh, we went strictly to the TMC, which is a troop medical facility for us. Our doctors would uh, no, uh, annotate this on uh, medical forms for us and just to put, basically wash our skin off with the water. That was the care that we got at that time until we got further, or got back to Fort Campbell for further treatment. It was uh, upon coming back to Fort Campbell and uh, my wife noticed that I was uh, sleeping at night uh, wheezing a lot and uh, she said there's something wrong with you because you're just wheezing and wheezing. Uh, she was losing her sleep. Um, I was waking up at night uh, coughing like crazy. Uh, I went back the, the following week to Fort Campbell and uh, reported this. Uh, they sent me up to the uh, Blanchfield Hospital with Dr. Agnello which uh, got me in the care with Vanderbilt and uh, to get further treatment and look at this. That's, a, that's when uh, they decided that I have to go in for a lung biopsy. And uh, Dr. Miller was in charge of that. Uh, at first I was, I was unaware of what my symptoms were other than people telling me, it, you know, my wife and my kids would hear me. Uh, I was waiting until, until I get the treatment and uh, once I got the treatment, it was uh, identified with the lung biopsy that I did have scarring of my lower, my lower lobes of my lungs. Uh, after that, uh, Dr. Miller put me on Advair uh, bronchular. He, he had tried everything with me and I was, uh, uh, it was just basically a therapy for it. It wasn't really a control measure, just other than helping the symptoms of me wheezing and giving me some extra help with my lungs. Yeah, basically, they're, they're controlled, but with, with the Advair, um, I'm on 250 milligrams of Advair now, so it helps with the uh, wheezing at night, so it's, it's, it's tough to deal with, you know, and then you get up in the morning, I, I cough a lot, I'm wheezing, or I, I get different uh, symptoms, you know, if it's hot in the summertime, I, I get a lot of chest tightness. Um, it, cool temperatures are, it actually help me. If I'm indoors, it helps out a lot, but the, the summer times are hard on me uh, with the Advair. Uh, Dr. Miller put me on nebulizer with Primacort. I was taking a, 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 in morning nebulizing treatments with that. Uh, when I went back this past uh, two weeks ago, Friday, he was, decided to put me back on Advair because I was giving him the symptoms of me having a uh, coughing and waking up at a night again, you know. Uh, so it's, it's tough to deal with, you know in the quality of life issue, having this. Before my deployment, I was able to run at least 14 minutes and 30 seconds, uh, two miles. I was in I was really good shape. Um, upon returning back to Fort Campbell, this is when I noticed this, when we would go out on a run, I couldn't get over probably a tenth of a mile. I was shutting down, I could feel something was not right. And this is when I noticed that uh, I was having a very difficult time breathing with all this, you know. Um, it, and it's tough, you know, you, it's a quality of life that you, you have and you expect to get it back and, and, it's, and you don't have anything now other than uh, medical treatment with Advair and, and inhalers. And, it, and it's, it's sad that you have to de depend on this, you know, on a daily basis, you know. It's important that people get the message out and, and have uh, a heartfelt, uh, you know, for soldiers and veterans, you know, these are the ones that go out there and they, we do everything. 
and it's just a minimal that we can uh, get some respect back for us and the critical care that we need. And uh, it's, it's not about uh, just being a number and just shoved off to the side.